26 million men and women have trouble hearing. The impact can be profound. It can lead to the loss of communication, social isolation, and even increase the risk of dementia. But did you know that teens, even toddlers, can experience noise-induced hearing loss? Does your child have selective hearing, or could they possibly have the beginning of hearing loss from too much of this? And this, and this. Normal everyday activities can cause noise-induced hearing loss in children. Shooting firearms without hearing protection, playing in rock bands, listening to your headphones too loud for too long, that actually does put some people at risk for losing access to sounds that they need to be able to hear for language development. Pediatric audiologist Brian Flagger says noise over 75 decibels can start to damage a child's hearing. Normal conversation is 60 decibels, but some constant noise from things like hair dryers, motorcycles, music, sirens, and fireworks can do irreversible damage. There could be a problem if you notice your child has trouble hearing soft or faint sounds, if they complain conversations are muffled, if they ask you to repeat things, and... So one of the first things that a child is going to report if there are some concerns about hearing loss is they're going to have a ringing, buzzing, hissing noise in their ears. So it's up to parents to protect their children. Most importantly, if you think there's a problem... Stan, would you like something to eat? Get your child's hearing checked by their doctor. Not all hearing loss is permanent, and it's not always the result of loud noise. It can also be caused by excess wax in the ears, an infection, or head trauma.